Hey guys, I'm back for another video game video thing. <laughs> and. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's do that again. <laughs> I'll put a screenshot on the page right now for 25,000 once I hit it in post editing steps. That's a lot of subs, and I'm trying to zoom it in. There you go. You can see it right underneath my face, right? Right there. 33,333. We're at 360 right now. I have a screenshot of when it was at that sub count, though. I'll be putting that up on the screen right now. So, yeah. We made it one-third of the way to a silver play button, otherwise known as 100,000 subscribers. And this, this video just is going to be me saying officially... By the end of 2017, my goal is to get 100,000 subscribers. We're already a third of the way there. And for the 100,000 subscribers special, I'm going to be showing you guys something unique about me. I've got this rare little thing that makes me different than most people. It is, um, I'm not going to spoil it because, again, that is the 100,000 subscriber special. It's something that I've had since I was born, but I am not going to spoil it. So, but I am not going to be responding to any of the guesses. I can't give anyone hints. Uh, we're just going to have to wait until 100K, so. So when's the road to 100K starting? At 40K? Probably. Once I get on break, I'm going to have a whole plan for growing the channel. I, I would love to hit 100k by the end of 2018. I mean, my initial goal was to hit 100k by the end of this year, but things didn't really turn out as well as I hoped. But, you know, we, we gotta have a plan. You can't just upload videos and hope for the best. You gotta, gotta have a strategy. Oh, we hit it! We hit 100k! It happened! Oh my god, we hit 100,000 subscribers! GG's, bro. A 10, this has been 10 years. 3,000 videos. Oh my god. And hundreds, if not, 500 plus live streams and here we are oh we're going to lobby one 100k boys we did it a hundred a hundred thousand subs oh my goodness both chats are going insane right now we hit a hundred thousand subs on youtube it's been okay yeah legit i have i just checked this morning i have 3050 videos on my channel and i've streamed almost 500 times and i've been doing this for 10 years i started daily uploading in 2013 i was uploading inconsistently since 2010 so many subs and donations so it's time to show the big secret. So here it is. So we finally did it. We hit a hundred thousand subscribers on the 30 virus youtube channel after a long 10 years of posting videos coming up this february 10 years and over 3,000 videos we did it we got to a hundred thousand subscribers the silver play button the verification badge getting partnered on discord the uh apparently being put in a secret club of youtubers that get better stats because of 100k subs haven't confirmed that yet it's a weird feeling to finally make it to your goal you know 100,000 subscribers has been a goal of mine for 
almost four years now. And now that I've made it, I don't know how to feel. I mean, obviously good, but at the same time, it like, it took almost a week for me to record this video since hitting 100k. I think because of the current state of my my living situation and my working situation, hitting 100,000 subscribers is a great thing to throw in the mix, but I am very busy and stressed. And when I hit 100k, it kind of hit me. You know, I'm working a 9 to 5 job right now at an office, and once I finish that job in a month, I go back to RIT for more classes, which... <laughs> If anyone's been around the past three years, they would know I do not like it. It's stressful. And a lot of people in my situation probably would drop out. But um, that's not my way of doing things, you know? When I start something, I finish it, which is, you know, probably why we're here, you know? I've been doing YouTube for 10 years, and I am still doing it because I never gave up. And only this past, like, year has it finally started working. And I feel like college is going to be the same way. I think hitting 100k, put in perspective what I could do, this brings two diverging paths in my life. I could go all in on YouTube and just be a YouTuber. Or I can finish my degree, struggle to do that at the same time as YouTube for about two years, and then graduate, and hopefully the YouTube survives till then. Then I could be a YouTuber and a programmer, game developer, at the same time. And that, I think, is my plan. Now, I don't need a degree to make games, but I've already put in so much time and effort into this degree, I might as well get my last three semesters in. This brings about an important change that I think the channel has needed me to say officially for a while. I think the production cycle of the channel is going to be the way it's been this past few months. And that's streaming all the time. And the streams are the recording episodes, or the recording sessions for the episodes. Recorded episodes like this are very rare. You know, I haven't done one of these since a video I recorded with Zyf like a week ago, which hasn't even been uploaded yet. And before that, it's been almost a month. So yeah, I am not going to be recording that many videos anymore. I'll probably be streaming. And I think I might do it daily because this past month has been the most successful my channel's ever been. We've reached numbers that I didn't even know were freaking possible. Like, 2.2 million views, 14,000 subs in one month, and that's daily streaming and daily uploading. So I think what I'm going to do is try and make the daily streaming thing work for a little while. I'm not going to guarantee that I can get every single day, but I'm going to try because, I mean, it's been working so well for me and I can't you know, waste this opportunity that I've been given. So I think, yeah, I'm going to try and do daily streaming even through school. But luckily, as with the 75,000 sub special, Fezzi's here to pick up where I can't put in the time and that's editing. We've had this dream team agreement for months now where he helps me grow by editing the videos for me. And I, of course, pay him. Don't worry about that. As the views have gone up, the pay has also gone up. I'm being fair about it. But also that I shout out his channel and make sure that he continues to grow on YouTube because, again, this partnership is literally what's making this channel work right now. So we need to we need to get through this tough time that is, you know, eight hour work weeks or eight hour work days, 40 hour work weeks and YouTube. Once I get through the next month, I'm hoping I can settle into something a little less stressful and that would be 15 college credits, which is five classes where I'm from and daily streaming and the uploading portion will be his thing and i'm hoping we can make that work for two years if we can then we did it then hopefully i can get out of school graduate and i will have 13 14 hours a day to do whatever i want of course three or four of those hours are probably streaming and the rest can probably be game development which has been my dream for these past 10 years and it's finally I'm, i see the light at the end of the tunnel it's finally happening. We're finally getting somewhere. Yeah, all I have to say is <laughs> thank you guys for letting this happen. Uh, this is the beginning of a new chapter of my life, basically. You know, the end of that chapter was 2018, and 2019 so far has been a very strong year for me. And it's been, you know, it took a lot of work, but I got a lot of um, progress out of it on YouTube. You know, it's very... Um, worthwhile in that way but anyway looking into the future I think uh, my goal is that in the next 
three to four months, I hope to get three million views a month, a little over that, so I can get to the next tier of my current YouTube network, because what that does is I, um, I pay off a, a smaller percentage of my AdSense to them, which means I can be more fair to Fezzi, and then get his pay up, and also it would just be another big step in my YouTube career. So that's my goal right now. My short-term goal is to get to three million views per month, my other goal, I guess, I've said it a couple times now in the past six months, 250,000 subscribers by the time I graduate school in two years. Those are my goals. And as promised, for 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to be showing off my secret. I already did on stream, for those of you that didn't know. But um, yeah, I posted it on Twitter as well. It's a rare condition called thumb hypoplasia, hypoplasia type 2. And this is what i found so i have this condition on my left hand uh it's hard to tell the difference i mean you can kind of see it here how the right thumb is normal i can do the like all the normal thumb things you know that and the the left thumb is smaller it's not bent as much and it doesn't bend that way it bends completely straight it's like uh it's like it's made out of plastic or rubber like it it bounces back when I try to bend it. <laughs> it looks really weird. I call it the rubber thumb because of that. It's not literally made of rubber, it just... Oh, and I can also bend it like that. It's like weird, weird ways of bending it. And the classification for type two, I forgot to read, is characterized by a tight web space between the thumb and index finger, which restricts movement. Poor thin arm muscles and an unstable middle joint of the thumb metacarpal phalangeal joint. <laughs> this unstable thumb is best treated with reconstruction of the mentioned structures. So, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to leave the thumb as it is. Because as far as I know, in order to put a joint here, they need to take it from like my toe or something. And that's just weird. So, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Technically, there's two different bones here but there's no wrinkles in the skin. There's no actual joint there and there's no nerves connecting to that joint. So my brain doesn't know there's a joint here because there isn't, I guess. I can still feel it though. I, I can, when I touch it, I still feel it. It still feels pain. It just doesn't actually, there's no joint. But yeah, again, thank you for 100,000 subs. That's the secret. And again, I guess the plan is in the next few months to get up to 3 million views a month I'm hoping that when Hightail comes out, I can certainly do that. I'm hoping I can branch my content out a little bit more than just Hypixel Skyblock because that game mode has a shelf life, as with anything. So I want to broaden what I am to more things so that when that game mode inevitably dies, that there be something else for me to do. And I can get in a cycle where I could have things to do all the time and my channel not die with any particular thing. So, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's it. It's a much more monotone special than most because as I said, it's taken almost a week to record this video. Even though we hit 100K, I just, I don't know, something about this just, it feels like I've hit a ceiling, but at the same time, I don't see there being, it makes no sense because we're still growing very, very fast. I just feel like, I don't know, it's weird to reach your goal <laughs> and then I, I have to make a new goal. You know, we've done 100,000, it's done and over with. Now it's time to move onward and upward. I'm not slowing down. Most people, I think when they hit a big milestone like this, they kind of settle. I'm not settling. I'm still gonna do the daily stream and keep up everything at 100% efficiency and we'll see how far we can get. Um, and who knows, maybe someday we'll hit a million. Well, anyway, um, Leave a like down below if you enjoyed, and make sure to stay for more, for now, Hypixel Skyblock content, but hopefully in the future, Hightail, Blockshot Network, and who knows what's coming down the pipeline in another 5-10 years. Well, anyway, <laughs> I guess that's it, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.